anything i you know i kind of wanted to bring in we have a guest today at banana duck so uh rambo's not here to co-host unfortunately but he'll be back next week i think unless i'm doing this with somebody else but we got a guest he's a a pro wrestler right from florida yep yeah and and you're and you go by from what i've seen so far you go by uh deathmatch scum yeah you flyer? <laughs> okay who can, can, can I? Uh, so, so obviously, thanks for joining. I, I think it's super oh, yeah. cool. I got you. Jumped on. Why, why did you join? What did you just tell me? Right? Why you joined? You're like, yeah, I'll just do this. You're in a. Hey, I'm, an whore? I'm, an, I'm an attention whore. Okay. <laughs> Were you always like that? If, if anybody doesn't know, uh, <laughs> Ruby did uh, high school wrestling with me. Yeah. Back in the day, and the reason well, I had brought you up actually a couple of episodes ago because another former high school wrestler posts on their Instagram handle that they're a former oh, wrestler. And I was like, don't post that shit, dude. Most people yeah. are going to think that you're like a pro wrestler and you're not, you yeah. maybe made it to college, but you, you actually do death matches. Yeah. Uh, I started off, like I said, I started off doing the normal shit. And then it was like, I think they're like, I did one show in 2019, like by accident and turned into a death match. And then wow. I, I became addicted to do it. So Okay. How, is that, those, how, yeah. how, how do you mentally get prepared just for something like that? It seems so crazy when I see that, that you're having a light bulb in your forehead. And it's for that, like. For that very first one I did, there was no mental preparation at all. It was originally supposed to be a six way ladder match. And then we had no, they, we didn't have any way to hang the belt up. So they're like, no, what, guys? Scrap the ladder match. Here's all these uh, weapons. Go out there and kill each other. And I go, what the fuck? Now it's it's just so wild. Like if you don't get pre- mentally prepared, you're just you're willing to basically just break break a limb, break a leg. Like, I'm assuming, literally, yeah. Like that first match, like I went gung ho. Like that first ever death match I did, I took, I got hit with light tubes, I got thrown through a barbed wire board, I got slammed on the thumbtacks. So I just went full. Mm, so I would just jumped into the deep end. Fuck it. <laughs> I mean, dude, I, I we were drinking this past week, and, and I just hit my elbow, and that was, like, the worst pain I want to ever fucking feel in my entire life. I, like, I don't want to be fucking feeling thumbtacks on my back. Right, hit your, your funny bone. So, like, oh, not, it, yeah, like, the, the, the not-so-funny so bone. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, what the fuck's going on? Like, there's nothing funny about it. <laughs> so you did you just jump into wrestling right after, pro wrestling right after high school? And have yeah, I, pretty much. Yeah, season? like, I... Yeah, I just kind of like went off when I moved to I because I right after high school and I graduated, I moved to San Bernardino like literally that summer, and then I found a wrestling school out there, and that's fucking how it went. Okay, and then uh, got trained, and then now who were you trained? Mm-hmm. Was there anyone you're training uh, with like that was uh, like very big at the time? Because the reason why I asked that too is here in Colorado, we El Snow runs his program out here. Yeah, uh, oh. his is uh, Rocky Mountain. I think he runs the school for Rocky Mountain Pro because I wrestle. I wrestle in Colorado a lot too, and I'll probably be out there this September for for some shows, or sooner. Who knows? Depending on what yeah. their schedule is. I wrestle but, for Primos know. out there. For who? Primos Pro Wrestling. They wrestle out of Denver. Okay. Nice. I don't know which one it is because I I met a guy. And he was super skinny though. I was like, you can't like nothing. No, no offense to skinny guys that can't do wrestling. No, it's fine. <laughs> I, I was just like, dude, you're like a twig. You're gonna be broken in half. And he's like, I'm gonna get bigger at some time. I'm like, okay. How old are you getting? He's like, I don't know, 23 at the time. And I'm just like, yeah, he he knows El Snow, and I'm a big fan of AEW. I still watch it. I go to all the shows yeah. when they're down here. There's a man. I went to one one of my uh, one of my my best friends. I went to college too, but uh, like. It's funny, I went to college afterwards. I joined the military for a little bit, too. So uh-huh. I used my GI Bill. So my best friend from college took me to an AEW show this past July for my birthday. And I was like, oh, you didn't have to do that. Because they were, they were in Tampa. So I was like, fuck it, let's do it. Sure. <laughs> and, I got, well. I got to see RV, and I got to see RVD fucking make, uh, make his comeback at that show. Like, oh, yeah. Fucking really? Will Brown Van Dam. Yeah. And he's been amazing. I, uh, it's hard because <clears throat> you start seeing these guys never slow down. 
It's like they just so, keep going. RVD is I, – I think Rob Van Dam has not skipped a, bit at, uh, skipped a beat at all. He's still just doing He's the same shit. It. Yep, and he's rocking it. I just saw him do the match, I think, maybe last week or the last two weeks on AEW. So. Yeah, with, uh, with Swerve? Yep. I, gotta, I still got to catch that match. And Swerve, I, I, I dig Swerve a lot. At the beginning, oh, yeah. I didn't. Swerve's really cool. Um, but, yeah, I mean, ooh, so you've been doing it ever since – then. And then uh, and back to your battle, I don't know, we realized we got, because we started talking about AEW and Al Snow, backpedal. I trained with Jesse Hernandez out in, uh, in his school in San Bernardino. Okay. You do that too? You you practice with them? No, I, I live in, I'm full-blown Florida now, so now I just okay. train, like, wherever I can. Like, I know for a little bit when I was out here, I was uh, working out at uh, at, lethal, at lethal school for a bit. Okay. So for, then, then also I was wrestle. I was also work out with WWN Academy. If people are uh, no WWN, they used to own a ball and stuff like that. Yeah, I was just assuming. So. How, how many bones have you? Have you? How many bones? How many injuries? Major injuries have you had? Because I haven't broken any. My I one do major, <laughs> yeah, my one major injury that uh, requires surgery. I've had I've had like little minor injuries, but I pushed through it. You know, tapered up, keep going. Sure, uh, but I don't, uh, know, I don't know if that's a good idea. But uh, it's, it's really not. Electrical you're, you're, tape? You're, you're feeling how, longer. How, how Mexican can you be? Like, what's the cheapest tape that you would put on? But don't tell me bubble wrap or something like that. No, I, 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 use, I, use, I use, like, trade up athletic tape. Like, how do you buy, like, a sporting goods store? Okay. But uh, or if I don't want to, to rip my hair out, I'll use that, that self-stick stuff that you get, at, like, at, like, in the pharmacy. Is that, like, glue? It it helps, like especially if you like if you like sprain an ankle or something. But I think my worst injury was you're gonna be like you're a fucking psychopath. Uh, I missed a double, I botched a double foot stomp, and I broke two bones in my left foot and dislocated my ankle, and it required surgery. So you, you, you wait, just tell me one more time. You did what? I went, uh, <laughs> went, went for a double foot stomp. You know, like Finn Balor. So you jumped uh, up. Yep. Try to hit both of them yeah. down. Yeah, and then the the guy rolled out of the way. I went to roll through, like off the off the landing. But when I hit, I felt a sick pop, and I was like, "That hurt more than it fucking should have." And I still rolled through. And then when I tried to stand up on it again, there was no putting weight on it. And then that later on found out in the X ray, my ankle was dislocated. So if it was just the broken bones, I would have been able to finish the match. But when something got into the socket, there's You're no so fucking <laughs> crazy. You're crazy. Yeah. I mean, you a, see all I'm these a, guys. I'm a psychopath. Get, you see all these guys get hurt. I mean, there's pictures of you online with a, like I said, these, these commercial like light bulbs on your fucking yeah. head, and I watch those too. I mean, it's just wild. Oh yeah, my yeah, my forehead is like it's fucking seen better fucking is days. It bad? Like, oh is yeah. It bad? Okay. Like uh, I'm trying not like I'm not New Jack level yet, but <laughs> that's that's the name I was thinking. I was like, are you New Jack, dude? I heard uh No, but I but I did I know one match I went I went full Nick Gage on the opponent and just fucking got him with a pizza cutter and just said fuck it. Dude. Is there any communication behind the scenes where you're just like, look, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do this. Nice drink, by the way. Is oh, that uh Ghost? Is that ghost? I'm yeah, it's the uh the fucking blue raspberry sour patch one. These ones I, mean, are, yes. I think this is the best one. Those are the best. I like the fish ones. The Swedish fish, those are good. They taste like what they should. Yes, exactly. I like do everyone told me drink. Everyone told me say drink C four. I'm off. No, no ghost no. tastes like what it fucking should. Ghost tastes good. I'm not. I, I love ghost. I don't like how pricey they are. But if you go on TikTok, they're pretty. They're cheaper. I think my but my go to is always Nos. Not my go to energy drink. Uh, yeah, I remember when to, I was in high school. It used to be Game Fuel, and then you know because they put all their sponsorship in the Doctor Disrespect. Uh, mm-hmm. No one ever knew about the game fuel, so they got just continued due to like not high enough demand for it. Yep. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I do stick with those. Those are my main go tos. So, those are your craziest matches. I, I don't even know how you do it. I mean, I would. Have you? Do you, have you ever? Do you, I guess right. The question I'm thinking about is: Do you have any personal grudge with anybody that just had a falling out in the pro wrestling industry? Can you say their name? What happened? Or did it? Oh, I have no. Amended? Yeah, I have no problem with it. Uh, I know there was one guy that uh, he. I don't know what you go. He goes by Orion now, but at the time he went by Blanco Loco. Such a lazy fucking name. But I can't. I want to be tequila. Like, my name's pretty lazy. It doesn't like a tequila. It sounds like a yeah. fucking drink. Uh, but uh, no. Uh, something happened in a match where I went for a. I went for a suicide dive through the ropes, and I clipped my foot on the middle rope, and. 
almost took a header into the ring. Luckily, the guy I was diving on got underneath me, so I didn't fucking die. And then because of that, <laughs> the guy, the other guy in the match, it was, a, it was a triple threat. The other guy got pissed that, oh, you made the match look like shit. So he purposely botched a pile driver and tried to break my neck. Really? Because I, cause I made the match like look The dude tried to break your neck? Yeah, because the, the, cause we, called, we called pile driver in the match. And for the record, guys, we do – people watching, we do call shit in the ring. And Don't say that out loud, dude. Don't say that out loud. They don't need to know. <laughs> okay. But, but no, but we did – but the power driver was in, in the fucking books. Except okay. uh, I've never seen a package power driver, safe and power driver ever. Get him in a double underhook at the leg so you're in complete control of the guy taking it. Well, on the way down, he closed his leg so there's nowhere for my head to go. So it jammed uh. my fucking so – so it jammed my neck. Normal paw driver, you base to protect your neck. This one, correct. You're all in the guy. You're all in the guy doing it. So, and gotcha. the only you way to do, fuck up a yeah. only way to fuck up a package is close your legs. Wow, what a piece of fucking shit. What's his name? Uh, Blanco Blanco. Blanco Loco. He goes by Orion now, and his, his claim to fame is, "Oh, I work at OBW." It's like, yeah, they've been relevant in fucking years since they were WWE territory. Fuck off. Is he is he brown by that name that he's given him? Oh no, no fucking way! His real his shoot name is fucking <laughs> Justin Coburn, the whitest motherfucker on the planet. Whitest guy, Vanka Loca. Okay, now I get it. Maybe maybe he was given it to him by crazy know, the crazy white M thirteen, MS thirteen. Oh, they don't listen. Mexican right. gang. I was remember like, that okay. shit in high school. Remember that? Remember that shit in high school? Those motherfuckers. I do. Uh, and the crazy thing is I came from, you know, Santa Fe Springs, which is all Mexican. It's yeah. all Mexican, very few whites. And then you go to La Mirada, which the reason why I loved, wanted to do wrestling so bad is because a lot of my close friends that I had there, they were like family. It was literally like family in oh, high yeah. school. And I was like, I don't do that. Let me, since I'm switching schools, let me go join wrestling over here. And that's when I met you guys. Yeah. And this is nothing but white. And even the Mexicans are white. I oh mean, yeah, like I'm like I'm mixed and I'm probably one of the I'm whitest like, Mexicans ever. Yeah, I was just like I'm full. I look Asian, but like I remember Chris Dominguez is white. You know, he's gonna yeah. be on an episode when he comes and visit. And by the way, since you're gonna be here in September, uh then we just gotta meet and do this in person because I'm trying to get oh yeah, you know, a bar down here to sponsor and have three hours worth of just dialogue and film all that shit. So it'll be fun. Oh, oh yeah. Um I, I also wanted to kind of touch base with you on – so you brought something up earlier, and yeah. uh, I wanted to bring it up. So you, I see that you're married. you still married? Yes. And and if I can ask, how long have you been married for? Don't tell me it was right out of high school too, so all this hell had to happen. No, 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 no. This is – no, this is actually a fucking spoiler. Actually, this is my second marriage. Second marriage. The first, the first one didn't go too well. I got married and I was in the military like an idiot. You think if it didn't work out, I mean, it, it, la- it lasted. It lasted less than a year. Oh. God, those <laughs> this are tough, one we, though. this one we begin. We've been together since 2018, and we got married in 2021. 2021. We were supposed to get married in 2020, but COVID had different plans. Sure. For yeah, everyone. So we, had, so we had to push it back such, another year. So such the Wuhan, you know, Wuhan has to ruin everything. Dude, oh that! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, not wrestling for seven months. Fucking, oh my god, I've been getting cabin fever sitting at home. Sure, I bet. I mean, thank <laughs> you, I, I work. <laughs> I work from home, so I don't have to stress out about it too much. And my company yeah. does stuff for those that are essential employees. So we were working. Yeah, which you you got a Gucci. Yeah, you're a Gucci on that one. Yeah, I I got lucky. Um. But yeah, I, I trip out on that stuff. So you guys have been married for how many years again? Like I said, it feels like feels it feels like six, but we only been married for like a few. Because we got like we got married married twenty twenty one. And how did you guys how did you guys meet? Was it through wrestling? <laughs> Is it no. <laughs> complete opposite? Like the lamest, like the lamest, like I almost like <laughs> the lamest old person way ever. We met through Meet Me through a dating site. Okay. Dude, it's not, it's not that old. I meet everybody through a dating <laughs> site, dude. This is why they. This is why mine never work. Is because oh no, but but you mentioned like a Gen Z, and they're like, oh, you're old. You met through a dating site. And it's like, fuck off. Oh kid. no, dude. Whatever <laughs> with these penis. guys. This is how everyone's gonna do it from now on. They're gonna yeah. go on a site. They're gonna even do VR. You know the VR is gonna take over. Oh, but yeah. no, I just 
I even right now I was thinking too. So you guys have been together for for some time or married. Yeah. I I just I'm 33. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't have. Yeah, you're, you're you're younger than me, aren't you? I think so. Yeah. So you're, yeah, because well, I graduated you, the year you tell before me, you. You're th- you graduated in 2007. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be 35 in July. Yeah. So yeah, then I'll be 34 in May. So yeah, it's those things though where I'm like I think about it. I'm like, you guys have been married for a while. How does how does a wrestling world affect? Because I watch. I watch all the reality stuff. What, right? I watch the micro yeah. wrestling right now about how <laughs> difficult that shit is. Where's that? I, I, where's that on? That is on. It's definitely on Sling. I think it's on TNT as well. Okay. So my, I'm not gonna came, lie. I've I've gotten a few <laughs> offers, and I'm all. Uh, so that's where I'm self- gonna go. And I was like, how I have too much self respect right now. <laughs> I was gonna say, how tall are you, Ruben? <laughs> and, like, and what's the limit here? The ongoing joke is. Five two, and I give a shit about my posture. You're five two. Yeah, I guess wow. when, I go, when I give a shit about my posture, meaning how's my neck feeling? Okay, gotcha. So because if, like if I'm not like if I don't stand up straight, it'll take a couple inches off me. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I was I was I was like hey, let me see. that's why I was like trying to you know talk to you real quick before that the episode because I was like I, so have some, fucking... I have some jokes here that I can oh no up. it's fine go for it um no I just I'll like, just, and I'll throw them right back the I'll hard yeah and you should and the hard <laughs> part about doing a podcast is you have everything lined up you can practice all day yeah and it just sways away and you're just like oh, I miss that it, opportunity there hey it's like pro wrestling you can have everything in the fucking everything like you think like oh it's all fucking I have everything I want to do one yeah, thing happens then you got a good fucking Call, let's call the ring, Daddy. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's like, oh shit, I got to do do this. Call the ring. I got to figure this out. Yeah, I wanted to ask you that. I also wanted to ask you since you you do these really wild matches. Uh, a lot of people know that I have a, a very addictive personality. I drink a yep. lot. I probably can go down that rabbit hole if I let myself. Yeah. Thankfully, I don't have that problem. I, I was I was an animal in fucking like I said in high we all I was an animal in high school and then I think I think I got sober at twenty two or some fucking point. So you were doing what in high school? No, or I was, was fucking animal. No, I was, yeah, we all know I was an animal in high school. Yeah, 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 yeah you were a small one, but you were. <laughs> yeah, <you're> kind of <laughs> like <laughs> fucking honey badger. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we we're all crazy in high school. I mean, I didn't really. I partied with my stepbrother and, and those guys. I didn't really party with the wrestlers. They kind of had their, you know, what are they called? A lot of the wrestlers didn't like partying because, like, you know, weight cutting and shit like that. Yeah. So, but after, like after when the, wrestling, I got close to a lot of them. Yeah. Like, when I joined the, uh, like, I think it was 20, going into 2012, I, I decided, like, fucking, not because I want to be, oh, spiritual shit. I need to fucking be a better person. I got straight edge because I'm like, if I kept drinking, I was going to fucking die. <laughs> that's what that's what's probably going to happen to me. Not, not yeah, that's that. why. I, I mean, yeah, I don't so really do it during the week. There's, I don't yeah, there's a tattoo there if you can see it. Yep, I can see it. Yeah, we but, do. Uh, I mean, we party here, dude. We're ga- I mean, we're all gay. I I was going to say this. I, I know one. Yeah. Now I'm the guy to make sure. Now the now the guy to make sure all my friends at party makes it home in one piece. Like, hey, y'all need a driver? Give me the keys. So did, it get, <laughs> did it get that bad for you to be like, I want to get sober? Was it that bad? Was there like a mental click? I think it was the morning one day. I woke up in my barracks room. Um, that, that was before I got married. I was still a single soldier, and I got married. And I got. Uh, I woke up, and I was like, my room is covered in beer bottles. I think when I went through like fucking a bottle and a half of Jaeger to myself. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, dude. That should have been the that fucking. <laughs> that was the fucking. That was the. Also, I would turn to. Also, what people know about me, I would always like when I drank, I'd always turn to like a little Stevo, doing every doing everything to make my friends uh, laugh, including bodily harm. Okay. So, both so the alcohol is going to kill me. It was the stupid stunts I did. I was going to fucking kill me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, hey, you can't feel pain when you're that fucked up. It's a good thing that you're drinking. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say that. And, may- and maybe that's what helped me have a, such a high pain tolerance for death matches. Maybe. I think it's, I think it's why, like I said, I'm always going to touch basis on that, that you do death matches. I saw your post that you do. You want a lot more this year. And I'm like, dude, this guy is fucking wild. Obviously, you want to go. You know, I would I would bring my my co-host with me too. We want to go fucking support, bring friends too. Oh yeah, every everybody I know is part of the community here. Yeah, um, like- but I saw too, um, and, and 
and you, if you want to finish whatever you wanted to say, do it. But to yeah. kind of swag way into, I saw some posts about like a drag brunch. Is it a wrestling show? Oh, Effie, Effie's big gay brunch. Yeah, is that a wrestling so, on, event? On, yes. So I don't know. Yeah, they they do it through GCW. I don't know if you if you uh, if you're familiar with Effie. If not, go look him up. He's fucking amazing. Go look up Effie. Effie on all social media platforms. Okay. Effie is the shit. One of my now, probably one of my probably one of my favorite wrestlers. That isn't me. <laughs> oh, so it's one wrestler that is hosting all of this. Yes. Okay, so they're the promotion as well. Yeah. So GCW okay. is is the banner they're under, but okay. Effie's big gay, big gay brunch is because they like they're like Mania Weekend, Rumble Weekend. They'll do multiple shows, and different guys will get a spotlight show. Like Joey Janela will get the Joey Janela Spring Break Mania Weekend. Effie will get a big gay brunch, and then there's like one called Planet Death where it's all focus on death matches. Now, do you Josh Barnett do... has blood sport. <laughs> okay. Do you ever do the brunches? Do you ever wrestle there? Uh, I was helping out for this year's, and then like I said, my big goal is to like I said that one of my goals is to get on that show because that's a huge show for the community. Meaning they have wrestlers that are gay, trans, bi. All of us are there. <laughs> yeah. Sure. No, I get it. I, I'm really cool with it. I, I saw you post some of some stuff. I didn't see you as a, a picture in the post, but I was like, okay, you're reposting. I saw your comment the other day too. Trans women are women. I, I don't disagree. Fucking I'm gay. Yeah. I, and I, then that post turned into a goddamn World War Three. I was like, I was, holy I was fuck. looking at it because I was like, this is some topics here. You got the, all the you know the flag wears, and I was just like, look, I watch a lot of, uh, and I've said this on the podcast with how aggressive we are on the podcast. Um, and how much we say, I, I was, we went to a party on Saturday. Yeah. Right. We went to a party. It was a birthday party. I did old lady drag. It wasn't really drag. I just dressed up as an old lady. I, it's not my thing. <laughs> not my thing. I was like that fucking pearl necklace, dude. I know you're fucking like, no, you're gay if you're wearing that pearl necklace. I was like, I don't I'm want like, it I'll, on me. I like necklace in general. Cause I feel like they just restricting my neck. I don't know. Oh, I don't, I just don't like the smell of like jewelry. Oh, like these, okay, guys fair that, these guys that wear like five rings, I'm like, really? Yeah, you I think the like only jewelry I like the one jewelry I have is my lip ring. That's it. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, but these, I mean, is that gold? Is that like silver? Nah, it's 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 uh, I think it's it's medical grade steel, but it's like it was also like getting that like plastic fucking covering for it. I don't know. Sure. Yes, but your post did go down like a rabbit hole, and I was like, it fuck, fucking so. did. And how how do you meet all these people? How do you obviously they're friends of yours? I'm assuming on Facebook. How do you deal with that? Because most of the time, so there's some I've met in passing. Like like you can tell some are like wrestling fans. They're like, oh my god, I think you're awesome. I'm gonna add you. And there's some I was in the military with. I'm surprised none of none of our homies hit them up. Meaning like guys that we went to high school with or in the, jumped in this post because usually they don't. Only a like, I think yeah. one person that graduated, like, two years before me jumped in the post to really and, be really defensive, like, defensive uh, on, 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 the, on the side of trans women or women. Yeah, so of, of, of the community, right? Yes. I think yeah. I, I would say, you know, I had graduating – Chris had a party at his house after graduating, and, and Kenny yeah. and, and all those guys came up and just apologized. Yeah. Uh, they just all grouped up, and I was like, I didn't expect this from you guys. Whatever. I'm cool with it. Yeah, but it's whatever. But yeah, I, I, I see that stuff and I'm just like, ah, oh, shit's wild. It's, it's, it's stuck, especially it's a big topic going on right now with politics. Yeah, and I'm looking at that post and I'm like, how the fuck did I turn into CM Punk in this instance? <laughs> yeah. I just like, you're, you're that. I mean, you got to keep doing what you're doing. I mean, you know, support that brunch thing. I think it's cool. I wish there was a wrestling gay brunch because. My best friend had brought up to me as well. We should do a wrestling, just five matches. Our friends, we get to do it. We're yes. reliable. We do it for like um, an event, and and everybody pays. I don't know five bucks and chip it for the 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 football league, which is a gay, yeah, and straight. I I know uh, the the promotion. I like I said, I, I will always like I said because they were respectful of me since day one. Primos out there in Denver, they've done a show before for a. Their own style of big gay brunch was called a uh, Joan Jetson's Big Gay Launch, and it was actually still pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna hit them up and see if they're if that if they're still gonna do it because I'm like I was like, hey, you guys still gonna do this? I'll fly myself out this year for it and do it. Yeah, it'd be cool. 
It'd be cool to get if you can. I mean, even and I will talk to you more about this after too. Just to gather a group of wrestlers that, if you're down here with a group and know all of them, you know, each spend an hour with me when they're available. If they spend a yeah. week here, just be like, hey, we provide. I know maybe you guys don't want to drink, but we'll provide drinks. We'll provide oh, yeah. food. Everyone sit down, chit chat. You know. But I was saying earlier when you talk about goals and stuff, I want more this year. Uh, September. That's my big goal is to fucking to win the goddamn Slants of Death Match tournament. Just to fucking say I fucking did it. Because this year, last, last year's tournament made it to the semifinals. This year, it's like, I got to win this some bitch. <laughs> how many matches are in this tournament? How many guys are you going up against? Or how many wrestlers are you going up against? So so the way the matches, the way the, the, way the tournament structured is the, the first round, it's tag team matches. And then, and then after you win, your opponent, your, your partner is now your opponent. Gotcha. So your best and friend then, is now your enemy. Basically. Yeah, and then after that, then you'll go to the then you'll go to the finals, and there's technically so you'd only wrestle three times that that weekend. Okay, I if I had made it to the finals last year, then I would have wrestled four because I lost my my night one match. Okay, and then I wrestled a, what they what they call a second chance dance where I fucking had I got to wrestle my way back in I got to fight my way back into the tournament, which was fucking insane. They call it this, a second chance dance. Yes, this wasn't for was, brunch. This wasn't for brunch, right? No, sounds, it, it sounds good. like it sounds like it, though, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's, but that's, uh, that's good. <laughs> which was insane too is I dislocated my shoulder during during that match, popped it back in when I got to the locker room, and still wrestled my semifinals match like that. Jesus, I don't like know the EMT. Like, like the EMT was like you're like an X Men. Like the EMT was Deadpool. <laughs> yeah, you're like an X Men. I just but the D- but, rebuild. But the, the EMT was like, I don't think you should go back out there. And even I was like, like, what miss, I, re- I respect your medical opinion, but please tape it up. I have to go back out there for the semifinals. Yeah. So that's what to. we did. She just taped, she just took some, like, 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 like an ace bandage to make sure it would stay back, stay in the socket. And mind you, that new shit because it popped out three more times during the, during my match. Oh, did you pop it in three more times in that match as well? I kept, I think after the third time, I just, I just wrestled the rest of the match with it out of the socket because it wouldn't stay in. <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> so in from like throwing throwing punches in my right hand, it's like now I became a lefty real fucking quick. Really? Wow. So you came out of your socket three times. Jesus. And so four counting. Uh, yeah, four counting what happened in the match the before. First one. Yeah. Who determines whether you win this? How does that work? With the with the death match tournament, I just think they just like feel like who like who really needs it that year to like kind of like okay. elevate them. Sure, no, I get that. I think and that's, that's why they're like that's why they're like you're going to the semifinals because like since day one of me wrestling at Primo since the first they brought me in, mm-hmm. I've been such a fan favorite. They're like you're going to the semifinals this year. I'm like oh fuck oh fuck that that that's what's happening this year. Shit. Great. And then how do you build yourself up for that? Like how are you getting yourself to that point where they're looking at you? To make it that far, in hopes that maybe this year you make it to just to keep win. myself, just keep myself relevant. Keep like I like you see, like you've seen, I keep doing my posts, posting my matches, yeah, showing that like I'm just I'm grinding. <laughs> and how's your how's your Twitch going? I see you do Twitch. I I've jumped in a couple of times. You do it pretty late for me, right? I'm I'm like I got I wake up at six in the morning, so yeah. I call that. the uh, yeah. The reason I, I I stream at that time because also other people like to stream like a lot earlier before me yes that are more eyes. so i don't like i don't so it's like i'm not like like compete yeah also competing for time or for audience like mondays i sure like mo- like effie likes to fucking stream on freaking uh mondays i'm not fucking streaming as effie he has a bigger audience than me and Ep- but uh so effie is th- the one that runs the brunch right yeah and uh you know tell me about this person let me see, big can... gamer, the big gamer. Yeah, well, his his uh his pod his uh stream is more of a he games every now and then, but more of like a he more or less like will do like more like 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 talks, Q and A's, watch rest, watch do like wrestling watch alongs with people. Okay, so this is very wrestling oriented. Gotcha. To where mine every now and then will be wrestling oriented. Like every now and then I'll do like a wrestling meme review or I'll do like a. Like a watch along wrestling meme review. If you want to send me in funny wrestling memes, I'll just fucking, yeah. I'll just, well, I think of them. 
if they're funny or I think they suck, I'll say they suck. <laughs> Who is your who's a wrestler you would want to fight right now? Past or present. Past Ooh. or present with the lifestyle that you're going to, the breaking the bones, the sockets or the bones coming out of the sockets. You know what? I heard I heard Mick Foley wants to do a fucking a one final match 60. on his, his 60th birthday. Yeah. I would I'm like I'll go. I'll go in the realm of death with you. Because if you said death match, I'm. I'd do it. It so, is. It is. I yeah. brought. A, I brought that up to my friend. I was like, Mick Foley wants another match at sixty. Okay. But a death match. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. I was just like, that. You're gonna have to carry him, bro. So like, yeah. You're gonna so have to the, carry him. So the tie between Mick Foley or another one. Uh, I would love to wrestle Nick Gage. I don't know if you've heard of him. Yes. Yeah, so he was on. If I remember correctly, he was on AEW as well. Yeah, he wrestled. He wrestled yeah, that yes. was the first time white tubes got used on mainstream TV. He wrestled yes. uh, fucking Jericho. And they got mad because of the light bulbs, I think, or the, the, the <laughs> amount of bleeding that was going on. I tell What's you, funny, people, these guys are crazy. They also got mad at the uh, the really well-timed uh, Domino Zad during the pizza cutter spot. There you go. That that's, was, that's a good point. I'm watching that live and I'm all... Really well timed fucking ad. It's kind of just like right now when people are getting mad at Slim Jim or or what's going on with the Slim Jim and the WWE thing going on with pulling out, you know, your they're piece back. of meat and everything. Oh, they're back. That lasted like that okay. lasted like literally thirty minutes. I they heard I... about them. God, I knew. I'm like, I'm like, I'm, on stream. I wasn't going to talk about this. Like, fuck it, we'll talk about it. Like when they hit, as soon as all that Music Man stuff came out, Slim yeah. Jim was like, guys, we can't fuck with you anymore. We have to pull out. But the moment Vince, they said Vince had resigned and he's gone, they're like, oh, we're back. Oh, they're back in. We'll, we'll, we'll sponsor the Rumble again. I was thinking, I was just telling my best friend, I just said, <laughs> whoever minutes. runs the fucking animation and the 3D graphics for all these guys had us be up that night. Oh, just yeah. trying to plan. Like, are we taking like, these down? Are we not taking these down? What yeah, the like, holy shit, now? what are we doing? Like, what the fuck's going on? What do you think about Please. his emails? Which ones? The shit ones. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I've heard of the shit ones. <laughs> Holy shit. No pun intended. But yeah, uh, I've heard of those. So I'm too lazy to fucking messages. read sometimes. So I was listening. So I was listening to, I don't know, you're, I was listening to uh, Jim Cornette and Brian Last talk about it. I'll let them paint a, paint a word picture for me. Mm-hmm. So I was listening to them go through each paragraph of this, of these emails and texts. Brian Last said it best. Each paragraph is a new revelation. Yeah, I mean it's just wild. I mean, like my man. Okay, man. like who, like who, like I'm guessing Vince is a shit fetish. Like who shits on someone's head during a threesome? Yeah, I mean I've had a couple of people I know. Then apparently they, he's all. Paid. <laughs> paid. You pay me enough, but fuck. Yeah, I, but I, apparently, I, I, apparently he's also he was also naming his like. Toys after like other wrestlers, it's like, oh, here comes the mantar. It's wild, dude. The powers I mean, of pain. He's definitely gone. I think. <laughs> I think he's never gonna come back. I no, think he's no erased. recovering from that. No, I think. Yeah, I think he's erased. No, they gave him the Benoit treatment. Yeah. And what do you think about that? That that was wild. Do you think? I mean, obviously, people feel differently about that subject in the sense of which one, the Benoit subject. No, yeah, there's no excuse for it. There's also um, people saying there's is an ex- uh, there's a reasoning behind it, and then all in the middle of that, right, with the drugs or the painkillers or whatever. There's a taking. like this would be a great area, like because I don't I don't condone what he did in any way, shape, or form. It's super fucked up, of course. Because only one person in that situation had a choice, and it wasn't his wife or his kid. But uh, but he could have got help. He could have got other things that could have prevented that fucking but do I respect his in-ring work? Yes. Like I will say he was one of the best technical wrestlers on the planet at that time but sure. as a human being I I don't fucking have respect for him. Fair enough. I always a ask lot. because I see these clips with Paul Heyman obviously just shut it down. Yeah I, I'm kind of I was kind of like I kind of had the same like thought process as Paul Heyman except not as I'm not gonna like as as like his was like really hate feel like holy shit yeah it was me I'm 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 trying to like still like maintain it and like and like a good like trying to like maintain my vibe because it's fucked up like I'm like fuck that guy but same time also like 
I, I I'll like every now and then I'll still study matches because I do like some shit he did in the from ring. From him? From him? Yeah. What about yeah. his final match? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Is that a dark? Oh God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> That was good. <laughs> one guy, I like one guy, a lot of respect. Like one guy, speaking of drugs, one guy, I have a lot of respect fine. for. Because holy shit, the fact that he battled back from that, the infamous Perk Angle. Kurt Angle, when oh, Kurt was yeah, super yeah. perked up. Yes, when he was yeah, doing you drugs. See, like you were seeing during his, his TNA days when he was just like like over. mass massive amounts of painkillers just to deal with deal Everything with the pain. Going on. I yes. think the uh, and at the height of his addiction, he was taking fuck sixty five extra strength bike in a day just to sounds like a party to me just just a function. Yeah, that's I'm like, just, yeah. that's a wild. My like, God damn, how are you still alive? I mean, I think I mean and the, the like interesting Skittles. thing. They, what, yeah, it's like the interesting thing is the the weird thing about that is they their body has become so absorbed with it that that amount of pills is what you need to get high. Yeah, so and like and for. Sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, I was saying what was crazy too is because I listened to a, a couple interviews where he talked about it, and a lot of it wasn't even to because of the tolerance. A lot of it was he would always have that many, like, taken throughout the day with just to keep himself from withdrawing because he's taking them yeah. so long. Because he's taking them for so long, if he goes like so many hours without him to start withdrawing, it's like, holy shit. Yeah, that's. Thank God I don't rely on painkillers. Because there, there's days after a show, especially if I do like multiple matches in a weekend, and I'm like, Man, I understand why Kurt fucking did did so many fucking painkillers, but I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 really wild. I mean, I, I I've spoken of very openly on the podcast where I'm like, I've done coke and drink so much to a point where if I do just a little coke the next day, my body's like, fuck this shit, dude. You're gonna yeah, slip like, this out right yeah. now. <laughs> And I'm like, like just oh. walk into the walk into the kitchen, it's gonna fucking slip. Yeah, like I'm gonna yeah. I'm like, I'm dry heaving. <laughs> Not trying to embarrass myself in front of my friends, I'm driving right now, but it's yeah. bad. I mean, and I'm like, oh, okay, my bo- my know. body at least can say, don't get to that point. Which, thankfully, thank God, I don't. So, yeah. tell me about this. Oh, it, what's over the top? The name caught my eye when I was going through your post. Which over one? the top, the over the top poster where it does say, "Death Match Scum." Who did you come up with that name? And how long did it you know take you to come up with that <laughs> name? Because I know it has to take a long time. You know what, how long it took me to come up with Banana Ducks? It took me fucking months and going through all my friends <laughs> about Solid this name, by the way. Huh? Solid name, by the way. It, you know what? It is. It's interesting because all the, all, when, I, when I first came up with the name, it was Yakety Yak. And I liked it because it was a meaningless conversation. I mean, we can just now, talk banana about Banana Ducks is where it's at. And I, I liked it. So my thing was, over the top, your name, you went from Ruben to Ruby. Why? Is that is that because we never called you that when we were in high school? Called you Ruben? No, because we never thought it would ever come up. Uh, because I'm in high. I mean, yeah, because we never thought I'd be. I'd go down this road in my fucking life where I'm just like you know getting beat with fucking light tubes and shit like that. Yeah. But uh, so basically, when I start when I started getting really heavily into the into the deathmatch scene, a lot of other wrestlers that are super like bigoted, like oh, we only. Oh, you're a garbage wrestler. You're a glorified backyarder because you do this stupid shit. You're fucking scum. Blah blah blah. And here's where it's going. Uh, all okay, the, okay, okay. All the fucking hate and all the people fucking like, what the who the fuck hurt you guys? I'm just I've been doing this long enough. I wanted to go a different route in my career. Also, I sure. felt the death match is also like it gave me a new life in my wrestling career. But now I'm diff- now because you don't really see guys my size in that fucking in that genre of wrestling no but uh you, you, so, don't, you don't that's that's i, I it, it, made, I mean, it, it made me different the guy that i that i was talking to wasn't i mean i would yeah. probably say he was five 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 six maybe yeah. but you said you were five two right yeah five you know around there yeah i mean i i when you were saying that i thought about a correlation with with what a lot of the things that my podcast deals with is controversial stuff you know, bringing yeah. up the trans issue, bringing up those jokes, um, and and having a lot of people say, "Oh, you're just doing that because it brings a lot of hype to things. It yeah. brings a lot of and just like where you're being told, why well, you do this backyard glorified shit." And I'm like, "Yeah, 
you're still going through a lot of stuff. And at the same time, I'm not bringing, I don't want the hype. It's just the way I talk. I, we, we make these comments on the podcast all the time. And I just say yeah. to the podcast, nothing we say is meant to be hurtful. Yeah, uh, exactly. Nothing's meant to be um, taken as racist. It, it's, it's stereotypes. So you can make fun of me. You I, we can talk about me crossing the border. I think it's funny. <laughs> I don't care. It's a joke, but it's cool. I that. I, yeah, I tell people I'm, I'm a grab bag of fucking things. I'm Mexican, French, and yeah. Irish. Like, come on. At least I, I don't know if that's better or just saying because I talk to I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's better. But like, it means like, and the where I was going with that is I talk to this. I talk to a lot of people from Spain, like like in a way where I'm like, I would date you, and they're like, Yeah, we kicked your ass, dude. And I'm like, Maybe being a mix of things, not having to be <laughs> conquered in a lot of ways, is much better than just being pure Mexican. Ah, uh, but uh, so what do you back what do you, to? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So Take back to here. back, it. so back to deathmatch. Come, then we'll 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 come back to this. But uh, but no, yeah, basically people are talking shit, wanting like, oh, you're fucking scum. Why you do deathmatch? So I'm like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take these fucking very, very fucking sour lemons that were just thrown at me and make some sure. bomb-ass lemonade. So, hence, I started going by Deathmatch Scum. Do your like, thing. You, it's like, you fuckers want to call me fucking scum? You want to talk shit on Deathmatches? I'm going to fucking embrace it. You might as well fuck, fuck these guys. Yeah. You know? So, basically, oh. I, took, I, I took a negative made into a really good positive, and hell, I made some fucking good fucking merch sales on those shirts. At, so... At- Fuck them. Amazing. <laughs> what what do your merch shirts look like? Where can we find them? Um, of oh, I course, have... I need all your handles and everything. To post oh, them. fuck. I forgot to do that. It's cool. You can still send it to me. I don't have to post it tomorrow. End of day anyway. So we're good. I got you. I can edit this during work. But uh, it's all good. But luckily, people, I think they can type it out. Uh, so if you want to find my, my shirts, you can you look go to ProWrestlingTees.com and look up my name. It's Ruby Flyer. Or if you're, or if you're good with fucking, you know, the fucking bullshit with the, uh, fucking the the, the tag, whatever fuck it's called, it'll be backslash fucking hybrid luchador. Yeah, get me those, get me those, and I'll send, I'll send you all that shit. And then yeah, I yeah. do have some shirts I make myself too, like my die ruby die shirt. Okay. And, and, like and, and you said you made a lot more sales doing with it going along with this name, right? Yeah, exactly. So that's it's like awesome. that's why I love all the shit they're talking. It's like guys. Thanks to you fucking putting this idea in my head with all negativity, I made some fucking good fucking sale on those sales on those shirts. Now you don't have to Thanks. say what 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 Thanks, is, motherfuckers. is this all you do is wrestling? Is this all you do? Merch sales, going to the matches, performing. I, I thought I heard you were maybe announcing or doing uh, I did commentary for a little bit when I was coming back from an injury. Mm-hmm. But uh but no, I, I do have I do have a a normal uh I'll say normal or wrestling term i do have a shoot job that i'm about to leave because it's getting really shitty the job isn't bad it's just that they're they're fucking all of us on hours right now and it's fucking stupid i work yeah. at all-time pottery because oh like that's fucking boring deathmatch guy works at fucking goddamn fucking he's he a fucking he's he's a store but fucking wait wait, wait. you're <laughs> what, you work at a pottery place no yeah we, they, we sell like outdoor goods and shit like that yeah like pots yeah like for plants Dude, yeah. ima- imagine this entire fucking scene right now. And I'm walking into the scene, and you're like, this guy looks like he might cause a problem. Right? Oh, and I'm walking, into the- and you're going to use all these pottery glasses on me? <laughs> but, uh, Come on, you like now, to be a movie. But now I'm, uh, but before that, I, uh, I did get my, I did get my piercing license, uh, a little bit after COVID. So I'm also a licensed piercer. So you're going to work at Claire's? Just, no, I don't use those fucking. I don't use those fucking goddamn. God, that triggered me a little. I'll use a goddamn fucking piercing gun. Fuck that shit. shit a traumatic experience. I'm like, who are you piercing, dude? Are you t- piercing some bikers? Oh, right, you know? oh, I've had some. I've done some interesting fucking piercings. Fuck right, What's the most interesting piercing that you've done? We now we oh. want to know and tell me it's a wiener. Oh. <laughs> Oh fuck! It There's a wrestler called Prince Albert for a reason. <laughs> oh yeah, it's funny. As a kid, I didn't get that joke until like later on. I was like, "Fuck, that's why." <laughs> that's why. But uh, Wild. I think the craziest piercing I've done was during my apprenticeship. I had to do a Jacob's ladder. 
What is that? Fuck. So you thought I was a fucking you thought I was a fucking glutton for fucking pain. Jesus. So a Jason get, ladder? Jacob's ladder. Jacob's ladder. I don't know how you even get card for this process. But uh yeah. so so you get the <laughs> under so the underside of the and you said I could talk about anything on this fucking podcast. So, yep, the under, anything. so, so the underside of the shaft, and you do the piercings all the way across, so it looks like a ladder. Gross. Yeah, and it's like, be like, hard like for a that? good lot. It makes it easier to get it through the skin yeah. because you got face. You got to face them apart. And then, yeah. and then usually Jacob's ladders always start with a Prince Albert because everyone wants to start with the fucking with the tip, and then. Yeah. And then if they get ballsy enough, they'll work their way down the. Then they'll start getting them on their fucking nutsack with a scrotal ladder. And I'm all, I'm done. That's so crazy. <laughs> yeah. Have you, ever done someone's, crazy have you ever done someone's taint or like something back there? Surprisingly, no. But okay. when I was reading, I, I, I do uh, the piercing Bible does talk about all the different piercings are. Surprisingly, mm-hmm. that is a piercing is the taint, which I'm all, yeah. how? I think it just like, cuts the shit in half as it comes out. I think that's just the purpose of it. <laughs> I just feel like that'd be like that'd be like really like like I feel like that'd be like really like grounds for an infection. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Like imagine you imagine like like putting a hot day in Florida and you start getting fucking ball soup going on down there. <laughs> Something down there. <laughs> I think it's so funny. So a Jason's ladder. I fi- I figured out what the episode would be called. Death matches and Jason ladders. <laughs> like I, like I fucking, like I thought about doing that in matches too. Like the, the piercing needle, doing it through someone's cheek or something. Oh, because I've I've, you... I've taken a, I've taken because I've taken a dimple piercing during my apprenticeship just to see how it felt, and it wasn't that bad. You just put the dimple, just put the cheek. Yeah, up. But that's for not wrestling. That's for piercing. Right? Yeah, that was just so I know how it felt because yeah, I yeah. also was the process. I'm like, I feel like a dick if if I if I stuck a needle through someone's cheek before I know how it feels. Sure, no, I get so that. So I'm like, so I'm like, hey, can we do a dimple piercing today? Same and then thing. the guy, the guy doing my apprenticeship was like, I know where your fucking brain's going. Why? And I go, I want to know how it feels. So when I pierce someone's cheek during a fucking match, I'm like an asshole. It's my same philosophy with fisting. <laughs> Not just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Because I've seen guys in death matches because they're the same type of needle. The piercing needles are th- thicker. Where they'll do a, you, of course you buy brand new ones, but they'll do a syringe spot where they stick the needle through someone's cheek and they let you know the crowd knows it's real. You'll spray water out of the syringe, so they really? know that this is a fucking okay, okay, okay. this is a real syringe going gotcha. through this guy's fucking cheek. Yeah, that stuff's wild. And so when are you going to start doing that? Have I you have already no started? Idea. Okay. If, what? What the piercings? I'm already. Yeah. I'm already. I'm already piercing. We're talking about doing it in matches to people. Yeah, do it in matches. Uh, once someone like if someone like, hey, I'll take that spot. It's basically getting their approval. I want to get your consent okay. before I just pull a fucking piercing needle out of my Gun. pocket. And I'm like, yeah, fuck you. What's the so so? Obviously, we went through all the matches and everything. Um, and then you're doing this. You know, what's your goal with all this? Is it to kind of stick where you're kind of at right now? You you have a family. Is it to travel? Is it to you said today? Well, you know, I, today you want to yeah, you want to take yeah. that championship uh, the, from the tournament yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, I know because I know when I got I know when I turned thirty, everyone asked like it was like a joke. Well, I made a joke. They're like, oh, well, you're thirty now because everyone thinks thirty is that you're old now. It's like thirty's not old. That's like a lot of us in our prime is your thirty. But it's uh, a younger, it's a younger mentality to say when you hit thirty that you should probably figure it out by now. Yeah, they're like, oh, yeah, how, much you, they go, how much longer? Then they go, how much longer you think you're? Yeah, go, how much longer you think you're gonna keep wrestling? And I jokingly go, ah, I'll give about another decade. Yeah, no, that's a good, that's a good mentality. I think I, you know, it's funny. A lot of twenty year olds or twenty one. If you're thirty, you don't have a career. You're fucking probably gonna yeah. do nothing with it. Now it's interesting because when you're fucking thirty, you are telling the twenty year olds you probably shouldn't have a career until you're thirty anyway. Yeah, um, or, or barely trying to figure it out. Why don't you go fucking travel? Figure out yeah, because you when you're do. yeah, because when you're still that young, like fresh, like out of high school or your early twenties, you still don't really know much. Like, go and experience no. life. Yeah, I don't think you know who you are. Yeah, um, at a younger age. I mean, definitely from my perspective, past five years of being single for the first time, I figured out who I was, the addiction, but, uh, personality, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, yeah. what would you want to do still? But I think my end, my end all goal, like. 
because I feel like this is because everyone's everyone a lot of people's goals in wrestling is WWE, but a lot of us figured out you don't need you don't need the WWE to make it. You can make it without them. Yeah, of course. The fucking AEW proved that. A lot of guys on the Indies proved that. Hell, the Young Bucks were making fucking a killing prior to AEW being made. Yeah. My end all goal is to I want to wrestle in Japan. You want to wrestle in Japan? Would you want to reside in Japan or just wrestle? Have a little season there. However, that works. I don't know. Live yeah, there do a, for... like do a couple, like do a couple like Japan tours, stuff like that. I wouldn't want to live there. Okay, but uh, or who knows? Or it might be like that match where I live, I go there once, and I get fucking stuck there because my brain's like, oh my god, I fucking love it here. This is but... fucking amazing. <laughs> I would want to live there. I'm not gonna lie. That in Spain but, uh, and Argentina, I think. But uh, yeah, because that's like everyone's like, oh WWE. I feel like Japan is my WWE. That's where I want to go. Okay, and why? Sorry, why is that your? Why is that? Why is Japan, your WWE. What makes that so? Because I mean, obviously, too, even in, over here, AEW, from that perspective, it makes or, or feels like they make Japan that top. No, they top. really do. Yeah. Um. One, because the, the wrestling history. Two, that's basically where death matches were born. Okay. Because if I could have a Japanese death match, holy fuck! What it's, does that entail? Does that, uh, entail, does that does imagine that what, imagine the, kamikaze drops? That was funny. The <laughs> that shit was good. Yeah, no shit. Oh man, imagine that the stuff you see me do, but like, like just like up up the ante. Like those fuckers. Like I never thought I'm like. I'm like I thought we did crazy shit here with like fucking goddamn fucking tax and light tubes and barbed wire. They're over here making fucking. Not standing up like knife boards getting slammed on pigeon spikes and I'm all who the fuck knife boards and pigeon spikes Jesus Christ. oh yeah okay I think does it how does that have WWE done that the, the pigeon spikes at least was I don't it them think they have no, no. okay because the way and the way a knife board works is you, you don't put them you don't put them standing up obviously because it's like fucking kill somebody yeah you lay you put them side you put them on their on their side in like a foam block so when you take the slam at least there's some fucking give to them. I'm gonna create a. I'm gonna have that guy from the. You know, put the 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 knife board, put him up, kill somebody. I think the be a man, right? <laughs> like, even though I've seen, even though I've seen, I've seen beds and I've seen beds, beds and LDs that shows I was on. Luckily, I've never been like a fucking recipient of the bed and nails. Yeah, shit would be wild. I mean, so you want to go? You want to go to Japan because they have the more hardcore death matches. And that's yeah, and that's and it felt like because that's where it started. Like, yeah. why not go to the like, the motherland of where death matches are from? Is there any wrestler in Japan that you would want to do that match with? Or what would you, even like with everybody that you've been colleagues with, everybody that you wrestled, is there that one guy, one person, one individual that you would look and say, I think we can get to Japan. I think we can do this. Or yeah. maybe that person's already in Japan. I know uh, there's a wrestler named Jun Kasai that's there. I would, I would love to wrestle him before he retires because that I feel like he's just going to go in the ring. That guy is taking some shit to his body, which I'm like, how are you still really? going, homie? How old is he? I think he's like not even in his like not he's not even fifty yet. He just looks it because of all how many scars he has. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I can't. Yeah. I mean, when I look, what was that? What was the guy's name that you're like? I'm not to that level yet. He they they did New Jack. Dark- yeah, New Jack. I mean, he had New Jack had scars where I was like, "Damn, fuck." Yeah, his forehead looked like fucking hamburger meat. Yeah, and oh, I mean, hamburger meat looks a little bit better. But I mean, I get <laughs> your point. I mean, I don't want to eat that head, but yeah, I mean, like, gosh, uh, wild. yeah, like, like I said, I'll, fuck, I'll fucking wrestle Nick Gage in Japan. Fuck, I don't care. <laughs> has he ever wrestled in Japan? I think he has actually. I know GCW does tours over there. So they have like a partnership with, uh, I think it's either Jig, Jig, Big Japan or Freedoms. They have a partnership with. Are there, those are like the two. Those, those are the two big death match promotions in Japan. In Japan, are there any other big wrestling promotions? Obviously, it just seems like Australia is out of the picture, right? They're, they're so, more like Crocodile Dundee's. The, the land of nope. <laughs> the land of nope. Yeah, they don't do. Anything. I'm sorry, they have, they have spiders as big as I am. There, fuck that. <laughs> I'm assuming I have arachnophobia. Arachnoph- oh, I don't even tell that everyone on the I, fucking I podcast. Do. I do too. Yeah. I, I have 
I hate bugs and insects. Yeah, all I them. fucking I can't stand. Can. Um, it's like I see a snake, I'll go fuck with it all day. Put me near a spider. I'm like, nope. <laughs> what about Mexican wrestling? What about Mexico? What about I do Mexico? I would want to go to too. The only my only problem is being me. I'm scared I'd piss off the wrong person. I'm like disappear. I think you can disappear anywhere. I think you can piss uh, off the wrong Japanese samurai I, guy. That's gonna be. Oh like, no! Yeah. Oh no! No no! Because what a lot of people know is the uh, fucking yakuza. As long as it makes funny, as long as it makes money, they have their hands in everything. Yeah. So you piss off the wrong person. Uh. Yeah, yakuza is gonna get you. Yeah. And, 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 but uh, and, yeah, Puerto Rico is another place. I was, I almost got to wrestle Puerto Rico a, a couple of years ago, and then for some reason that trip fell out. Getting the promotion I was supposed to wrestle for, the guy was like, "Yeah, I'm not doing it anymore." Would you put? I'll put you in contact with someone else. Never did. That sucks. Puerto Rico would be cool. Anyway, but Puerto Rico, yeah. but Puerto Rico, they're also, but they're also one of our territories, so I can just travel without a passport and be like, "Hey, guys, what's up?" Yes, you can. I was looking at possibly heading out there that way too, just for a vacation trip. I actually prefer to go to Spain or something like that. It's funny. My wife got scared too. She was like, she saw what happened to, she saw a, a, a thing about Bruiser Brody. She's like, <laughs> I'm not going there. Because apparently Bruiser In Brody. Puerto Rico? To, oh, Bruiser, yeah, Bruiser Brody in Puerto Rico and got killed there. Got like stabbed in the locker room or some shit. Oh, that was on a that was on a dark match or dark dark, dark side of the ring. Right? Yeah, that was on that one, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah we made we, yeah we made, we, made a, we, we made a mistake of binging Dark Side of the Ring. I think our favorite two episodes, ironically as it is, is uh, New Jack and Nick Gage. Yeah, no, I there's I, some I, shit in that New Jack episode that had me dying. Like it was wild when he tased the motherfuckers. Like Jack, I can't feel my legs. Do we gonna need them? Bump yeah. away. Yeah, I was like, is there anything else that, you, like, what else are you going to do? I feel like I, you were getting so close to actually just not caring if you did hit somebody or do something the wrong yeah. way. And you're like, well. Like, that, man, that guy was, like, two feet from hitting the floor. Sorry, I'll see you when I'm dead. I mean, it was kind of right? like that. It was weird. It was wild. That was, so. that was a level of pettiness right there. Like, man, he held on that grudge forever. <laughs> well, of course, at the end of the hour, you don't know this, but you have – you get to promote anything you want. Talk about what you got going on right now. Any, uh, you know, next upcoming shows, where we can find you. Yeah. And then I'll still grab your handles and we'll still play that on the bottom of this podcast throughout the entire hour and we'll go from there. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to shoot those to you as soon as we're done here. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think my next my next show is coming up. Are, unfortunately, they're in Florida, but it'll be real. It'll be not real, but it'll be CWA. On Friday, or this Friday in Arcadia, Florida, and then you have Riot Pro Wrestling in Daytona, Florida. Nice. From there, and then think and where do you get 20- tickets at? Where is there a website? Yes, if you go to Riot Pro Wrestling's uh, Facebook page, they'll okay. have tickets. Gotcha. So they'll have a, they'll have an Eventbrite page. Okay. Sweet. CWA, they're at CWA, they're at the door. All right. Uh, then you have, then you have Tampa Bay Pro Wrestling. They have an event pro, uh, event page or uh, event bright. I'll be there on the twenty fourth of this month. Do you have anybody that takes photos of you? Anybody that yes. does all that kind of stuff? Yes. If I have a, cause I, I'm a friend. Luckily, I'm, I'm a friend of a few photographers that do take do do take pictures for shows. So they usually will send me my pictures first. I don't need to get special treatments. But <laughs> well, <laughs> thanks guys. I didn't ask for that, but thank you. Yeah. But uh. Fucking, but yeah. And then if anyone wants to catch me on Twitch, I'll be on there probably later tonight at, you know, fucking Twitch backslash fucking Roofly89. There we go. So I was looking at that too. So Roofly89, and you're almost on every day, it looks like, right? Yeah, I try for the most part. Okay. And the reason I'm on so late, I call it, like, even though I'm not a stoner anymore, but I still call it that stoner hour. People are like looking to wind down and just calm and just jump into like a chill fucking atmosphere and we just shoot the shit. <laughs>